What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of the Chicago Bears Central. It's your boy Hayes, joined by them Cognac boys. First up, we got C Dub and Bobby in the building. Yes, sir. And we got we got a quick episode for you guys. It ain't been much going on. The Bears are in OTA, so we're gonna talk about that right after our intro. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central. All right, fellas. So only big news to come out, and this ain't even big news. After after camp. The Bears have signed David Moore and Greg uh, Strowman, uh, a wide receiver and a cornerback, to one-year contracts. But that's after they just par- participated in mini camp. Outside of that, it's just been OTAs going on. Not a lot going on around the Bears nation right now. Everything's just kind of waiting until the draft. Uh, how you guys feeling about everything? Man, I'm just feeling like, man, let's get to it. Let's get to this draft. They just do. They just filling up the roster right now. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. filling up with little pieces to compete. Maybe they got a chance to make the team, but most likely they don't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just ready for the draft. Uh, I'm so eager to see what this team going to do. Man, I can't even control myself. Shout out the Bulls, too. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see this big-ass yeah. smile. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> this is Bears broadcast. You know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting for you, Bears. I'm, I can't wait till next week till we show you guys show you guys uh what's the future for the chicago bears baby let's get it definitely definitely what about you bobby man just super excited <clears throat> it's been a long time since the boy been excited but we already know what these mini camps mean it means that these people gonna come in they're gonna get familiar with the new coaching staff they're gonna see who out here you know what i'm saying who stayed in shape what could they do? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's mm-hmm. little stuff that came out, but the, you already know they're going to sign some pieces that, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, prove it. Prove it. Let me see if you can make this team. And then, you know, it ain't going to be much. But overall, super excited. Let's go Bears. Let's go Bulls. We about to turn up. Let's go. That's it. That's it. Eddie Jackson has been uh, vocal. He, he, he said last year was one of his worst seasons. And he talked about this year. You know, uh, controlling this effort level, getting more takeaways, getting more comfortable with this new uh, defensive scheme and things like that. What do you think about Eddie Jackson's comments? Uh, and, and it's warranted because uh, after that first year, man, he was all world. I thought we had us a uh, um, who one of the, the best uh, safeties ever. We had us a Ed Reed or something. The way he was playing that that yeah. that backfield out there, and the last couple years, he really been on a down slump. So I appreciate that looking in the mirror and saying what's right. Like I haven't been playing up to up to par. So he put himself on, he put himself in our in our crosshairs now. Now you gotta show up and prove that he one of the base best safeties in the NFL. And he was his rookie year. Mm-hmm. Let's see if he can get back to that level. I appreciate that. If he can get back to that level, that really changes a lot of things with the with the bear secondary. What do you, what about you, Bobby? Um, I think it was pretty damn solid, to be honest with you, because like um, when Eddie Jackson, in my opinion, had his best year of his young career, he still has many years to go. He was paired up with Adrian Amos, who's a solid person to be paired next to. Very disciplined, very active, not scared to tackle. Mm-hmm. But the Bears obviously didn't pay him and he went on over to become a cheese head. So, you know what I'm saying, the Bears had to pick up on, you know what I'm saying, people that were not bad, but definitely not on Adrian Amos' level. So, I I, I want to see bounce back. I want to see what Eber Flus, a defensive mind, does for this defense. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be so much that we can't wait to see, like, what this team, how this team takes shape, what the identity of this team is. You know, we said it all before, and, you know, it's only so much that words can do. At this point, I've said it before. I'm just ready to see some damn football, man. man I'm just for ready sure. for the preseason. Oh, I'm just ready to see some football. Man. Hey, man, I was watching the USFL, whatever that Me crap too. is the other day, man. Like, hey. they really trying to play out here. I thought I was watching NFL, but then I looked at the names and people were 45 years old and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thirsty for football. <laughs> Come on, Bears. Let's go. They had a, a team called the – uh. <laughs> the, what is that? Generals. The Jersey Generals or something like that. Okay. All right. I need my Bears back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We we just we need Chicago Bears football back, man. That's yes. that's that's what it boils down to. I'm I'm starting to itch. Uh starting to feel like Tyrone Biggums when it comes to football anytime it comes up. Um but yeah, man, we 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 need that. Our Bulls got a, a win in the playoffs. Now I'm just like, hey man, I I need to. 
I need to feel some positivity about our good old Bears fam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, oh, this is gonna be. Hear, did, did, did y'all hear about Justin Fields though? Hey, he had What's a bad that? day. Yeah, he had a bad day. What y'all think mm. about that? Nah, come on. It's, it's come a bad on, day. Dude. It's, it's a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah everybody. Spark something up. Cause yeah. me personally, I say, look, have all the bad days you can in mini camp and training camp. Once it's time to hit preseason <laughs> or regular season, it's go time, baby. So get it I, up right now. I, but we gotta be patient though. He's gonna have some bad day bad days in the regular season yeah. too. Now he gonna it's gonna happen. You know, everybody ain't perfect. Tom Brady have have bad days too. He have bad games too. So Aaron Rodgers have bad games. So it, it's not that every I mean, playoff listen, game. Justin Fields is gonna have bad games. He's gonna have a couple of bad <laughs> games in a row over the course of the season. I'm sure it's gonna happen, man. It's yeah. all part of growing pain. Sometimes you have to you have to you have to fail to grow sometimes. And, Absolutely. You know, that, that's part of this, this of all sports, especially being the leading quarterback on the Chicago Bears, who we know how we feel about quarterbacks and how, you know, it, it just Man. happens. You know, welcome to Man. Chicago. Facts. Welcome. Man, it's been a long time. Yes, Jim McMahon, Sid Luckman, <laughs> <laughs> Eric Kramer. <laughs> 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 All right, man. That is about it, man. Anything you, you, you guys got left? I know this has been a quick episode. and We'll catch up again Sunday. But then we got the draft coming up. Yes, sir. Man, I can't. I can't wait to the man, draft. I'm so wait. mad I'm not going to be able to be on that live stream, but I'm going to be supporting you boys, man. Any, yeah. uh, But anything left before we go? Yeah, just just guys, it's next week is a big week for us. Yeah, make sure y'all tune in Sunday, though. Start the week off, and then that week, next week, the draft is coming. And the Cognac Boys is CEO Hayes. CEO Hayes gonna be out there laugh though, but we gonna hold it down for the squad. Chicago Bears Central, y'all stay tuned in. It's gonna be a great week next week, baby. Hey, definitely get definitely get out there and look at some of these prospects. Shout out to Pat the. Pat the designer, he been breaking down some good film on these prospects that the Bears could possibly take, and it's been it's been live. So definitely check those prospects. And after you're done checking out, go on over to Chicago Bull Show with the Cognac Boys, where you Come get myself on, oh yeah. and C Dub, where we drinking cognac, talking Chicago Bulls, and laughing <laughs> it up a whole damn lot. And after you finish laughing up a goddamn lot, head on over to Chicago Bulls Central, and then head on over and find my guy. Hayes at CEO Hayes. Let's get it, Bess. Let's it. get it. That's it. And that's, hey, that's all she wrote for this episode. We'll see you guys Sunday for a more full episode. Hopefully have maybe some draft pe- uh, prospects for you guys. But that's it. Make sure you guys are following Shy Bear Central on every on every platform we're available on. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. ShyBearCentral at gmail.com. We out this mug. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.